this grid. I'm Libby Snowgrove. And I'm Sam Rhodes. Today is the last day for cookie dough sales, so come by room 614 to support FFA. The Mr. Eagle pageant is Wednesday. Be sure to buy your ticket before that, before that night because they are $7 at the door. Pre-sale tickets are $5 and you can get them from Angie Entwistle or Lexi Dingman in their front office. And our very own sports anchor Connor Morgan is competing. Come and support him and the other contestants. With more spectacular news, last Friday was the Winter Spectacular, hosted by the Delaro Band. Let's go to Kevin now and check out how spectacular it really was. Last Friday, the Delaro Band showed off their amazing winter percussion and Winter Guard as the band hosted 2009's Winter Spectacular. Everyone had a lot of fun and it went off without a hitch. It's, it's tons of fun. You work all day and you meet tons of new people from other schools and you get to play music. And it sounds like the spectacular was a lot of fun. Let's go see what the band members thought. And you eat snack bar food and make tons of money for the band and stuff. Along with all the fun, Delaro hosted a plethora of schools on campus. Everyone was working hard and practicing for the big night. 27 different groups, uh, 39 performing groups, including the Delaro Winter Garden Winter Percussion. Sounds like the band did a good job on Friday. Way to go, band, and keep being number one. For DOTV, I'm Kevin Burney. Back to you guys in the studio. Thanks, Kevin. Thursday night, there will be a band concert at 7, p at 7 p.m. in the auditorium. It's free, so why not go? Hey, Goliath, what are you doing tonight? Well, I'm participating in Saturday Night Live, which is back tonight. Live from Doloro with hosts Mr. Newton and Mr. Matthias. It starts at 6 and goes until 7.30. Tickets are $5 at the door. That's so awesome. I'll totally be there, Goliath. So let's go to Connor now with our sports update. Thanks, Libby. The varsity softball team started off last week with a loss to Wood Creek 0-1. Savannah Pingree struck out six and only allowed one hit in the game. The girls also played Wednesday against Nevada Union. They beat the Miners 4-3. to Savannah had a great day at the mound, striking out seven. Seven Miners. Sierra Clark had three RBIs and scored a run herself. The girls, play the, Ro uh, the girls played Roseville tonight. Good luck, ladies. The baseball team went up against Roseville last Monday, but lost the game 2-3. to Brian Rowe and Mason Magleby had an RBI each. Mason go up. Mason had seven strikes. Wednesday, the guys faced Oakmont and beat them three to two. Matt Leak hit a double with an RBI and Brian got one himself another RBI. The guys will play at Rockland tomorrow, hoping to sweep them for the season. The story of the week was the boys' tennis team. The boys dominated Roseville at Roseville 8-1 to on Tuesday. The guys also won on Thursday against Oakmont 7-2, to staying perfect in the SFL. Andrew Milton won the first two sets 6-4 to and 7-6. to Brandon Bailey lost the first set but regrouped and took the last two sets 6-1 to each. Great job, guys, and good luck against Granite Bay tomorrow. It should be a heated game. The Rockland Invitational for vars Varsity Boys Golf is today. Good luck, guys. That's all the sports for today. I'm Connor Morgan. Back to you, Libby. Connor, seniors, the scholarship bulletin has been updated with loads of awards just for DO students. Any applications are due April 1st. Would you play soccer with the 49er United Club? There's a scholarship for you. It's due April 1st, 
So check it out on the scholarship page of the counseling section of the Deloro website. Sweeto, well, that's all the time we have for today. Thanks for watching. I'm Sam Rhodes. And I'm Louis Snellgrove. Come be my friend. Thank <laughs> you.